Hello guys, today let's create a flower effect in Niagara. We can see when we fire, the object's heat will turn into flowers and fly away. I think it looks really great. Okay, now let's create this effect together. First, we need flowers, texture, and static mesh. You can download them for free in my Patreon. And here is a simple flowers material. Okay, now let's create a Niagara. First, we need GPU theme and add a spawn burst. Spawn count, we can set it to 1000. In render, we need a mesh render. And use the static mesh of flower. Initial particle, we need to change its left time. Random mean is 10, max is 15. Okay, also we need a random color. We select random individual channels. And also we need to change mesh scale mode. Random uniform, the mean is 0.3, and max is 0.5. Okay, that's enough. And then we need a static mesh location to sample the position of the static mesh. The preview mesh, we can use a cube. Yeah, we can see the flowers spawn on the surface of the cube. And then let's add the initial mesh orientation. Just keep default, it's okay. In particle update, we need to set scale mesh size by float and we need a curve 1 to 0. Make the flower gradually smaller until they disappear. Then we need a gravity force, also keep default. Next is wind speed. Oh yes, we need aerodynamic drag to use it. Let's fix this issue. In wind speed, we need a user parameter to control it because we need the direction of the bullet to control the direction of the wind. Scale, we can use a random range 0.3 to 1. In turbulence, we can also use speed range. The scale mean is 0.2, max is 1. Speed is 0 and 500. Frequency is 1 and time of sight is 50, 20 and negative 100. Okay, then let's change aerodynamic drag. Aerodynamic drag is also use a random range float 0.3 to 1. And the rotation is same. A random range 0.1 to 0.15 and the lift contribution is 0.75 to 1 rotation strength is 1.5 to 2 okay next module is collision Particle radius scale, we can set it to 0.1. Bounce, we can set it to 0.05. Because flower don't need bounce. Friction, we can set it to 2. And here, we can also set it to 0.1. That's okay. Now, let's save the Negra system and find the blueprint of the bullet. Okay, it's here. Now let's add a spawn system attached. Attached to component is hit object. Use the Nagra we just created and set Nagra variable. Vector 3. The name is wind speed and the value is bullet velocity. We can multiply it by 0.5. Okay, then we need to set heat component visibility. Or you can destroy it if you want. Okay, now let's check it in the level. Hmm, the speed looks strange. 
we can add some changes. Find Niagara system. Let's add some changes for wind speed. First, we can multiply it by a float. The vector is user wind speed and float. We can use a curve and a random range. Multiply float. Random range, we can set it to 0.1 to 0.5. And the curve, when k data is 0, the value is 5. And k data is 0 0.01, the value is 1. Okay, let's check it. Yeah, it looks better. Alright, we haven't changed it left cycle to self in Niagara. Once fixed. Okay, let's check it again. Yeah, that's right. Although this effect is simple, it's also very interesting. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.